creature, man. You know, that brother you're talking about, you pull out an old picture and look at him because that's the last time you see him. That ain't who's talking to you now. And I just want to be holy. I love the way you sang it, just like you. Father God, we thank you for this moment. For giving us this time together as family, Lord, and blessing into our lives through your word. It's, oh, it's, it's tremendous and it's rich. And we're so thankful. I'm praying that some heart will receive uh, the message that you have shared through your word today. And just receive that blessing that comes from Jesus. To be new. To be pardoned, forgiven brand new creature in Christ Jesus, empowered and enlightened to do what God has called us to do. New purpose, new being in Jesus Christ. And then, Lord, empower us. Give us the power and the faith to lay down those things that, are, that attempt to uh, pull us in a different direction. Give us a different taste for life as you shape us more in the image of Christ. Looking forward to the day when we shall be like him. We shall see as we are seen and know as we are known. It is in the precious name of Jesus that we pray it all. We just give you thanks, Lord. Let God's family in the house say amen and amen. As our new members, directors come, we want to open up the doors of the church. If we can just stand together. Invitation is extended to you if you're here. And uh, if you would like to become a part of the church family here, our process is simple. Coming down front and letting us introduce you, either on your Christian experience or as a candidate for baptism. The doors are open. The arms of the family are open to you. And we'd love to introduce you today. Won't you take that step of faith? And come on down and let us introduce you home. Welcome you home. We offer Christ to you. The doors of the church are open. The invitation to membership is extended. Won't you come? We offer Christ. Oh my God. We offer Christ to you, oh my sister. Oh my sister. He will give you brand new life. Yes, he will. New life abundantly. are open. Invitation is extended. Come. Ye who are weary and heavy laden. your neighbors by the hand and as we prepare to close. Thank you so much, ladies. Our compassion center is open from one, starting at one. If there's anything that we can be a blessing in your life, there are, please come down and take advantage. There are so many clothing items down there we've been blessed with uh, through some of our uh, corporate donors. And we'd love to be able to bless into your life anything that you can utilize with our heads bowed and with our eyes closed and our hearts humbled before the living God. As we assume an attitude of prayer and lift our hands to him in praise. Is there someone in your journey along your pathway in your circle of influence in your family and friends or co-workers that you, 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 you recognize and can see are going through some difficult times. Maybe some struggles emotionally, maybe some struggles spiritually, maybe some struggles intellectually, physically. It's a good time to lift them up in prayer. Reach out to them in love and invite them to the house of prayer.
lay them on the altar of the living God. Let him bless them in a mighty way. Let God use you in that way, church family. Let God bless into your life as you bless out into the lives of others in the name of Jesus. Now unto him who is able to keep you and me from falling and present us faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, dominion, power, now, henceforth, and forevermore. Let all God's people say amen. Holy. Thank you. 